That place was so important we had to take off our shoes to go inside. And I'm struck by the enormity of this place. It's called the Grand Palace. Lavish, lavish, lavish. <laughs> Starting the day off early, I gotta get some food in here in the busy Bangkok. I got a special place I wanna take you. We're leaving the busy Sukhumvit area behind us and we're going to one of Bangkok's most iconic places, the Grand Palace. But should you make it number one on your to-do list when you visit this town, the Big Mango, well, we're gonna get to that. We are inside the Grand Palace grounds and I suggest you come here early as I suggest all the places you visit whenever you visit any foreign cities but in this case it's open from 8.30 to 4.30 and they stopped selling the last tickets at 3.30 so it's not a place you can come and see sunset or something like that. Tickets they cost 500 baht so a pretty good bargain but probably one of the more expensive things you're going to be doing when you're visiting the sites here in Bangkok. You can get an audio guide for another 200 baht but today we're not going to do that. We are inside and right away this place is impressive. You can see some of the temples as soon as you enter and one thing I forgot to mention to enter this place you must be wearing pants. Well long pants. You can't be wearing shorts and there's a whole dress code protocol. Your shoulders have to be covered and so on. If you don't have the right clothing you're gonna have to go out and buy some before you enter into the Grand Palace so be respectful. Right away I'm struck by the enormity of this place. It's called the Grand Palace but it's more than just one big palace. It's a whole sprawling complex of structures and temples. You have to consider this was the king of Thailand's, the king of Siam's grounds from 1782 all the way up to 1925. King Rama I saw it moved from across the river into here what we now know as central Bangkok, the old part of Bangkok and it was built from 1782 th over three years a period of that and over the years it was renovated and renovated all the kings lived here up through king rama the ninth king rama the tenth well he has his palace just a little bit further away and as you're walking around here you'll see all the beautiful thai architecture on some of the buildings you'll see touches of european architecture that the thai introduced on some of its buildings and these buildings today they're still used by the government in fact on some of my more Morning runs coming by here I see government officials coming in and out and many of the buildings we cannot even enter and that includes unfortunately the Grand Palace but if you look online Bangkok recently hosted the 2022 APEC meeting and King Rama the 10th he had some of the world leaders inside this beautiful palace that the kings they used to call home and this is the Wat Prat Cow, and it's one of the most revered famous temples in all of Bangkok if not all of Thailand. That place was so important we had to take off our shoes to go inside and I just went up there and had to look. I can't take my camera inside because inside is one of Thailand's most sacred Buddhas, the Emerald Buddha. It's not actually made out of emerald, it's carved out of one piece of jade, a solid piece of jade. It stands about 60 meters tall, it sits about 60 meters tall, about two and a half feet. It is truly spectacular in there. And you'll notice the Buddha was completely covered in gold. Well, that's his winter outfit, and it may sound strange, but it has three different outfits. And every season, in a ceremony, the king comes in and changes its outfit. My pro tip for you, especially if you're pressed on time, is make a beeline to this temple. You're gonna wanna see the Emerald Buddha. That's the crown jewel of the whole Grand Palace and it's well worth the price of admission. Just to interrupt this video for one second to let you know about the essential Bangkok travel guide that I put out with information like this and all sorts of other information on the Thai capital, the Big Mango, how to get to and from the city, how to get around the city, restaurant recommendations, the best temples and the best coffee shops, including Google Map links. You can download it as a PDF, 
have it in your pocket offline so when you're traveling around the city you never get lost. The link is in the description. And this is it right here. This is the royal palace inside the grand palace complex. This is where the king once lived for so many years. It has four different types of architecture. You see from the top down, Thai, Victorian, French, Italian. Elephants are standing outside. The symbol of power here in Thailand guarding the structure. It's just impressive to look at. I hope you have some energy because when you come to the Grand Palace Complex, it takes a lot of time. This place is 2.3 million square feet or around about 200,000 square meters. A lot of persistence to walk around the whole place, but it's well worth it. And we're right outside the Prasat Hall and this is where they put the kings to rest, their final resting spot. And this also would have been the resting place for King Rama the Ninth. He was loved by the Thai people. He only died about a few years ago and he ruled for over 70 years. And just to let everybody know, I have a newsletter that I'm sending out with more travel tips and hacks and exclusive content. Click the link down in the description below. Walking through the Grand Palace Complex, it's like walking through the Roman form in Rome or the monuments of Washington, D.C. You're walking through the past as well as the present of the Thai Kingdom and you see all this lavish and beautiful architecture that symbols to faith and to loyalty, Buddhism, Hindu statues, statues of half women, half lions, all this amazing stuff in there, just lavish, lavish, lavish. It's a quiet and stately place. You'll not only fill up your memory cards with photos, but also your mind with peace, escaping off the hustle and bustle of the Bangkok streets. Ah, I've already switched back into shorts. If you guys are liking all these videos, please join the community. Click that subscribe button down below. What do I make of this? Should it be number one on your to-do list when you're here in Bangkok? Well, it should be pretty high up there if not. Now, I got another video for you to click on right here that I think you're gonna enjoy. Yeah.